Y'all ready? Y'all welcome. Uh, this, is a, this is a very good day for South Carolina. We're always trying to make things better. And this is a, a big step in that direction as far as the openness of the government, the information about what's going on in the government and why uh, being available to the people. Uh, the effort on this reform for the Freedom of Information Act has been a long time coming. It's been slow, it's been a lot of work, a lot of deliberation, but this bill that we'll sign in just a few minutes represents a, a big step forward, and the people that you see here have played a, a major role, there are others as well, but a major role in, in getting this uh, accomplishment. So it's, it's a very, it's a happy day for South Carolina. We are, we're getting stronger, we're getting better, and I'd like to call on a few of the people before we or sign the bill to give their insight into this process and what this reform bill does. First would be Representative Weston Newton. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Governor, and thank all of you all for being here. I'll be very brief. Um, transparency essentially is the bedrock to representative uh, government. And you can't put it any simpler than the people's business ought to be done in public. Um, for our citizens to be able to be involved and participate in government decisions, they need to know what their government is doing on a timely basis. And when they are refused access to documentation, they need quick and easy redress. And they need government to be held accountable when those documents uh, or records are not produced. This bill represents a great step forward, but is not, uh, I don't believe, represents the stopping point in terms of promoting transparency. As Justice Brandeis once said, uh, sunshine is the best disinfectant. And as the governor said, this is uh, a great step forward for South Carolina. Thank you. Thank you. Representative Bill Taylor. Thank you. I guess it started in Aiken County about seven or eight years ago in 2010 when the school board refused to give up some uh, documents about a bond referendum. that caused uh, the activists there to be uh, very concerned and uh, as I was elected in that election, they came to me, and it's really the team. You know, when you realize any major legislation, it's about the folks, uh, the citizens, that really push it, the grassroots, and they're all behind us back here. And uh, Jane Page Thompson from, from Aiken, Alberta Wasden uh, from Wagner, uh, Amy Hilly from up in 96, um, uh, and, and the list goes on. I'm gonna leave some people out here, but, but uh, Kim Murphy from Lexington and Richmond County, depending on where her line is in her house at the current day uh, by those things. But uh, these people all have real stories to tell. And hopefully you'll ask them in a little bit about their stories, about the $10,000 bill from the city of Swansea uh, for some uh, documents they already have. But they came to this state house and testified time and time and time again and uh, uh, really put themselves out for that. And so uh, I thank them because without them starting this bill, this, this really probably wouldn't have happened. Um, I think I left the name out, Paul Curry back here also from North Myrtle Beach. And, and that. So uh, these are the folks that, uh, that have, were the instigators of this and we're just the kind of messengers trying to run it through. But it, uh, this bill has probably had more hearings over those seven years, and, and last session alone, we counted 22 hearings in the House and the Senate and the Ad Hoc Ethics Committee. So it's been well vetted and everybody's had a piece of the action and uh, really it's, uh, it is a major step forward for uh, the FOIA bill. Thank you, Bill. Bill Rogers. Of the Thank you, Governor. Press Association. Uh, I wanna echo uh, what Bill Taylor said. This is a people's bill. It really does two things. It makes it cheaper, and faster for the public to get information that they have a right to see under the Freedom of Information Act. So it's really a great day. I want to thank, thank Weston Newton and Bill Taylor uh, for all they did, uh, and also um, uh, the governor who really got this started years ago when he had it eth headed an ethics committee, and we touched on all of these things, and I think everything that we came up with actually got in here except the enforcement thing. So it, it's really a good day, and we appreciate it. And uh, Senator Campson was also helpful, and, and Luke Rankin in the Senate. So uh, thanks, everybody, and it's a good day in South Carolina. Okay. Let's move over to the desk. All right. Let's, let's do it. Up.
comfortably close. Come on now. <laughs> Everyone with your this camera first real quick.